Welcome to our presentation on Bay Gardens Resorts in St Lucia by Paradise Promotions. Okay, so the first thing I want to tell you is how do you get there? Well, we are so lucky. We have got daily flights on BA that go from London Gatwick. Uh, we also have flights on TUI that go once a week. Uh, obviously, you would need to book through TUI um, to get access to those flights. Now, flight time, um, it's uh, eight hours on the way out, but about seven hours on the way back because there's a little bit of tailwind. In terms of airports, your international flights will come into the south of the island into Huanora International Airport. And then the transfer time from there up to Bay Gardens is about an hour and a half, but it's a very scenic transfer. Um, alternatively, if your clients are island hopping, then they would come into the smaller airport, which is up near Castries. And from there, it's about a 20 minute transfer. Now, what we um, also have, which um, you can tell your clients about in the island of St Lucia, is the opportunity if they come into the international airport in the south, into Huanora, they could do a helicopter transfer, which is beautiful. Um, that will take them up to the airport in the north, into Castries Airport, and then they would just do the 20 minute transfer in, car, in the car. What you'd need to make sure your guests are aware of, though, is that um, their luggage won't fit into the helicopter, so the luggage would follow them up by road and therefore it would arrive a little bit later. So if they want to be able to, to freshen up, jump in the pool straight away, make sure they have um, some hand luggage with them just for those little pieces that they might need. Now all the properties in the Bay Gardens group are situated in the north, up in and around Rodney Bay. Now they consist of five properties in total. We have the Bay Gardens Inn, the Bay Gardens Hotel, and the Bay Gardens Marina Haven. Now they're all three star properties. The inn and the hotel are situated within Rodney Bay and as the name suggests, Bay Gardens Marina Haven is situated right by St Lucia's Marina. Now in addition we have the four star Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa which is situated directly on the world famous Redwee Beach. And in addition to that, we have these beautiful new villas, two of them which are called Water's Edge Villas and they're also situated within Rodney Bay. Now, as we go through the presentation, I'm going to try and highlight to you some of the things that make all of the Bay Gardens resorts so special. And one of the things I wanted to highlight was that it's a genuinely St. Lucian owned and St. Lucian run group of properties. So your clients have such a truly authentic St Lucian experience and a, a real homely and family welcome, not just when they arrive for the first time on property, but every time they go out and they come back after a day touring around the island or sightseeing. So it is one of the most special places in St Lucia for that reason. But there are so many more and I'm going to tell you a little bit about each of them as we go through the presentation. Now Bay Gardens Resorts is the largest locally owned hotel group on the island employing nearly 300 staff. And it's so important to the, um, to the owners and the staff at Bay Gardens that they also support their community, their local community in St Lucia, but also their wider community. Now, sustainability is so important at the moment and your clients want to know what different hotels are doing to help meet the needs of the local community um, in the destinations that they're coming out to. So when you book a client into Bay Gardens, you know that they do take their corporate responsibility so seriously. And throughout the 25 years that Bay Gardens has been up and running as a, a hotel group, they have done a number of different things to support um, local schools. They feed local school children. Um, they also give back to farmers. Um, they support children that are coming through the education system. Um, this slide shows you just one example when there was recently uh, the hurricanes in the Caribbean. Um, they raised 15,000 US dollars and donated that at the um, CHTA event in January 2020. So loads of really good reasons why um, you can promote Bay Gardens to clients who believe in sustainability when they travel and know that they want to stay in a property that is helping to support the local economy and the local people on the island. Okay, so your next USP is food. When you think about Bay Gardens resorts, think about amazing food, local authentic ingredients that have been infused with international flavors. Now Bay Gardens resort chefs often enter competitions and they have some fantastic medals between them. 
So the next couple of slides, I'm just gonna wet your taste buds a little bit and show you some of the incredible food. But while we're talking about food, I wanted to give you an idea of the meal plan. So when you come into Bay Gardens, majority of the time your meal plan will start with B and B, but in 2021, we are gonna be launching some room only rates as well. So watch out for those. Now we have MAP and we also have an all inclusive, but because we are located in such a wonderful um, spot for restaurants of different, different styles, um, we understand that clients want to be able to get out and about, support the local restaurants and also um, have the opportunity to get, to get up and get dressed and go out. So we have introduced a dine around program. Now, if you stay for seven nights across Bay Gardens Resort, so any of the resorts are included in the dine around, your guests can eat out three nights um, of the week and they have a choice um, of, it varies, but ranging from around six different local restaurants where they can eat out. And they have a transfer to and from the restaurant, which is included as well. So that's a really, really great selling point for you and a great USP. So here I said I was gonna wet your taste buds a little bit. So this slide just shows you some of the food on offer. These are images from the restaurant at the Bay Gardens Hotel. And these are some of the foods that you'll find at the Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa. Now, the wonderful thing about having so many different hotels within the group um, means that your clients can freely move around and try the different foods at the different restaurants inside each of the different properties. Now, we also have a complimentary shuttle which goes between the properties and it goes every hour so you can stay at one of the properties and play at any of the different properties or go to the restaurants or go to the nightly entertainments that they have on offer. So I want to tell you a little story um, which kind of crosses over with sustainability, um, supporting local people, local businesses, um, and also enhancing your client's stay in terms of um, an authentic experience. Um, you don't always want to eat um, at the resort, at, on the property. Um, when you're on holiday, sometimes you just want to, you know, grab a roti at the beachside. Now, we have um, a lady who sells roti directly on the beach outside Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa, chicken rotis and vegetable rotis, and they are amazing. Um, now, the reason that she is able to be there is because the management at Bay Gardens Resorts um, saw her selling her rotis, decided to do a, um, a bake-off with her, with their top chefs um, and another, um, another lady that was selling rotis. And this, this lady won the bake-off competition. It was all over Facebook. And after she won, the management of Bay Gardens helped her to get her license and made sure that she was set up. Um, legitimately on the beach so she now comes down every day with rotis and drinks and cakes and things that she's baked for at home in the morning and clients just wander along with their um, their, their dollars and you can buy a roti and, and I say they are really tasty and it's a really authentic experience. Okay, so moving on to the properties within the group, I'm gonna start by telling you a little bit about the Three Star Bay Gardens Marina Haven. This is actually the newest hotel within the group, um, joined, joining Bay Gardens Resorts most recently. It's a lovely property. It's situated really closely to St. Lucia's Marina, so you can easily pop out and walk along the marina, which in the evenings has really taken on a life of its own with lots of kind of pop-up bars and restaurants the lights on the boats in the marina twinkling away, so it's really great to be able to walk out and have that so close to your hotel. Now the resort has the Anchor restaurant, which is where they would serve um, breakfast, lunch and dinner. But of course, don't forget, you do have that shuttle, which also takes you out to um, the other properties within the Bay Gardens Resorts Group and also to Rodney Bay. So you have the marina on hand, the restaurants in Rodney Bay at the other properties and also this lovely restaurant, which is on site. And another selling point at the property, across all the rooms, uh, the restaurants and the pool area, there is complimentary Wi-Fi for guests. And finally, we have the rooms. Now, when Bay Gardens took this hotel on, they did a soft refurbishment, so everything is bright, clean and fresh. 
Now we have one room category here, which is the superior room. The only differentiation in the rooms is that we either have a superior king or we have a superior double room. So it's either a room with one bed or it has two beds. Otherwise, everything is the same, uh, ensuite bathroom, tea and coffee making facilities. Now I'm just gonna finish um, by showing you a short video of Bay Gardens Marina Haven, which not only shows you how beautiful the property is, but it also shows you how close it is to the marina. Now this is the Bay Gardens Hotel. So it's a three star property again, situated right in the heart of Rodney Bay Village. So you can walk out to all the bars, the restaurants, the nightlife, the shopping malls, the supermarkets, everything is on your doorstep. Uh, there's 87 rooms all together, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about the rooms in a second. There are three pools in this property, um, and you can see this is the main pool area here where people just sit, relax. Uh, it's right next to um, Spice's restaurant and it's also right next to the cinnamon bar. So in Spice's restaurant, uh, the food is incredible, delicious home-style meals uh, in a warm and relaxed atmosphere. Uh, and it's, the Bay Gardens Hotel is really well known for its true local vibe. Now, these are the rooms at Bay Gardens Hotel and they've recently been refurbished. They have lots of different room categories, so you can really fit in any different size groups of um, friends traveling together or larger families. We start with our standard rooms and then we have our superior rooms, which are ideal for families with interconnecting setups. And these view rooms are available with garden or pool views. We have our junior executive suites, which include a bedroom area with one king bed, and obviously the optional sofa bed, which is great for families with young children. And there's also a kitchenette here added for convenience. Then we have our croton suites. Now these are one or two bedroom suites, so they're ideal for um, a family group. Um, they're spacious with a king bed, and then they have a second bedroom with either a king or twins. Two baths, including a, cup, um, a tub and a shower combination, and a separate sitting area and a full kitchen, plus a balcony or terrace. Now, all the rooms come equipped with free Wi-Fi, air conditioning, iron ironing board, etc., tea and coffee making facilities, um, TV with cable as well, and an in-room uh, safe. So these are great rooms, and it makes Bay Gardens Hotel such a fantastic product for various um, size groups and families which might be traveling. Now, just as I did with Bay Gardens Marina Haven, I'm going to show you a short video of the Bay Gardens Hotel, just to give you a slightly better overview of the property and what your, your guests will experience. <music>
is the third three-star property, the Bay Gardens Inn. Now it's literally adjacent to the Bay Gardens Hotel. So we're staying in Rodney Bay, in uh, Rodney Bay Village. So again, you can walk out to all the bars and restaurants, but this property is slightly different because when you come into the property, you really feel that it's a little oasis, a hub of calm and tranquility in the middle of this vibrant, buzzing, um, atmospheric Rodney Bay. Um, there are 32 rooms at this property, so it's a very small kind of more boutique style uh, in feel. And all of the rooms overlook the, uh, the pool area, so they all have fantastic views of the swimming pool. So in terms of meal plans, um, everything is on bed and breakfast, and then we have the MAP and the all-inclusive option as well. Now in 2021, again, for this property, we are going to look to launch some room only rates. So please do look out for those. Now the restaurant is actually the restaurant over in the Bay Gardens Hotel. So just adjacent to the inn and it's a very, very short walk. And that's where you would go for your breakfast, lunch or dinner if you were on one of the meal plans. In terms of room categories here, we start with our standard rooms. Then we have superior rooms, deluxe rooms as well. So three different room categories. All the rooms are equipped with free Wi-Fi, air conditioning, uh, ironing board, fridge freezer, tea, coffee making facilities, um, cable TV as well, So um, and an in-room safe. So they really do have everything that you would need. And so this slide again, just showing you a little bit more about the bedrooms, the, the pool area, the gardens. And of course, I couldn't finish without showing you a short video of Bay Gardens Inn. So sit back, relax and enjoy. These are the newest in the product of Bay Gardens Resorts, two beautiful villas called The Water's Edge, and they are in an incredible location right on Rodney Bay Marina. They are waterfront walkout villas. They're two, um, 4,000 square foot each. They have private decks on the water, so you can actually have your boat come in and moor right outside your villa. And they give you the best of both worlds between a luxury villa, but you have complete access to the other Bay Gardens properties. Um, so you have all the beach access and the water sports as well. Now, inside the villas, you have Alexa concierge service. There's a smartphone with smartphone lock capabilities. Again, we have complimentary Wi-Fi as well. So these villas being that they are in the heart of Rodney Bay, again, your clients, if they want that independence, they can walk out to all the bars and the restaurants and enjoy the area as well. Now, one other thing you can see, there are two villas here. So if you had a group um, that was larger than 10, so each villa would sleep up to 10, they could actually take both villas and then you can have it, have it more opened up and um, they would have just such an amazing time with the opportunity to actually have a group up to 20 in size. Now inside the villas, you can see it's a stunning open plan interior with your living dining area. There is so much room here. There's actually a bedroom down on this ground floor as well with an ensuite bathroom. So that could become the daily um, bathroom area. But if you had a family with maybe somebody had mobility issues, then that bedroom on the ground floor would really, really help out. Now this goes around in an L shape and then you have the kitchen. And here you can see the kitchen, so full integrated kitchen, there's a wine fridge and actually beyond the kitchen here, there is also a utility room. So you have absolutely everything that you could need for your holiday. Um, if you wanted to have the fridge docked and the wine, the, the wine fridge docked, that can all be arranged for you. All of the rates at the villa actually start on bed and breakfast. So you could have a chef or a cook come in and do breakfast for you inside the villa, or you could go over to the beach resort. Now the beach resort is literally 
a five minute walk or a two minute shuttle ride. You can call the shuttle if you'd like to be collected or you can have that early morning stroll if you wanted to walk down to the beach resort, but it's, it's so close, um, but it really gives you that best of both world living. Okay, so I mentioned there is one bedroom down on the ground floor. There are a further three double bedrooms upstairs. There's also a landing area, which is so spacious that they've actually made that into an additional kind of a second breakaway lounge with a TV and a sofa that's a sofa bed. Now, each bedroom has got its own ensuite, and uh, I'm gonna show you an image of that in a second, but just wanted to show you the bedrooms. They're spacious, they're bright, and they have all the modern luxuries and conveniences that you would expect in a luxury villa. Now, all of the rooms are en suites, and I put this image in just to show you how stunning the bathrooms are. This is the master bathroom, I have to say, but you can see a huge tub which has views out over the marina, and you can see in the background there's a double shower, but in this instance, there's, there's actually two showers, one opposite each other. So it's absolutely huge and really, really focused on that high-end luxury experience. Now, when you come outside of the villa, um, you have your own private pool area here, as you can see. There's also a barbecue area. There's a table outside, sun loungers. And of course, you have the decking just beyond uh, where the pool area is. Now, if you just have the one villa, there is actually a, a screen that you can pull down on this side of the villa um, in between this villa and the second villa. And then, of course, if you wanted to take two villas for a larger group, you lift those screens up and then this area becomes slightly more communal. And in, in that instance, you would then have the use of two pools. So the area here is fantastic. Now, this is another USP for you. So all of the properties I've shown you so far across the Bay Gardens Resort Group, um, they're not beachfront properties. However, we have a complimentary shuttle service that brings you down to our Bay Gardens Beach Club, which is situated at the four-star property, which is directly on Redwe Beach. So your clients can either have a fantastically priced um, lead-in holiday in one of our three-star properties, or they can have their unique um, independence in the villa, and they are able to come down with a complimentary shuttle service to the Bay Gardens Beach Club. And while they're at the Bay, Bay Gardens Beach Club, they will have full use of the non-motorized water sports, which is completely unlimited. They have full use of Splash Island Water Park, which I'll go into a little bit more detail about later in the presentation. They have access to the sun loungers as well on the beach, which has way to service. So they really do have an incredible best of both worlds holiday experience when they're staying at Bay Gardens. So that brings me to our final property, the Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa, which is the four star hotel directly on Redwe Beach. And you can see from this image, it really is a spectacular beach that this property sits on. Now there are 78 rooms and suites in total at the Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa. And you can see from this image, we have pool view rooms, which are around the pool. Then there are beachfront rooms, and we also have some garden view rooms as well. Now, a little bit of a sales tip for you. If you book somebody into the garden view rooms, these rooms are actually a little bit more special than just a garden view because the entrance to St. Lucia Marina actually passes by the edge of the garden. So when you're sitting on your balcony or your terrace, you can see the boats coming and going. Now this is the pool area at the beach resort. So it's one swimming pool right in the heart of the property. It's a circle pool and it only comes up to maybe just above your waist. So you don't have to worry about not being able to touch the bottom at any point. There is actually a sunken area, so you can see in this image at the front, um, there's an area of the pool which is quite large and it's only about a foot deep. So you can take your sun lounger in and lie on your sun lounger in the pool, or it's perfect if you've got toddlers or young children who want to play with a bucket and spade and just play with water, ducks, toys, that type of thing. Uh, in the centre of the pool, you've got these lovely cabanas um, where you can sit and relax and chill out. Um, there's a bridge to get over to the island. And then in the middle of the island, there is also a jacuzzi area as well. 
Now we do reserve the pool 100% for guests of the beach resort. So if we have guests that are joining us from the inn, the hotel, Marina Haven or the villa, they all have their own pool. So this pool is specifically for guests of the beach resort. Okay, so moving on to the rooms at the beach resort. We start with our leading room category, which is the deluxe room. Now you have either a deluxe garden view, deluxe pool view, or a deluxe ocean view, but all the deluxe rooms are the same. And you can see here, all of the rooms uh, across the beach resort have recently been refurbished, so they're very bright, fresh, and modern. In a deluxe room, you would have two queen-size beds, a flat screen TV, tea and coffee making facilities, and then you have um, the bathroom area is actually a walk-in shower area. And then all of the rooms would either have a balcony or terrace, depending on which floor they're in. So the next room category is the one bedroom suite. So you have a large bedroom, which is a king size bed. Again, you have flat screen TV, tea and coffee making facilities, um, but you have an additional space. So in addition to the bedroom, you have your living kitchen dining area. Now you can see here, you've got another flat screen TV. Your living area has actually got a queen size sofa bed. Then you have your dining table and you have the French patio doors that would go out to either your balcony or your terrace. So just behind where the last picture was taken, the dining table here is your open plan kitchen, which again, you have a fully integrated kitchen. So everything you'd need if you wanted to do any self catering. Of course, all the um, room rates at the Bay Garden, the Beach Resort and Spa do start with the bed and breakfast again. Um, but it's great to have this kitchen if, if you wanted to do any lunch or dinner or just snacks as you go. And then the bathroom area for the one bedroom suite is huge. You've got a tub with a shower head there as well. Um, double sinks, all granite, um, and it's a really lovely big space. So it works really well with a family as well. Now the final room category at the beach resort is our two bedroom suite. So we have one and two bedroom suites in the pool view and the beach front. Now this shows you the two bedroom suite. So basically we have a deluxe room. Every time we have a deluxe room, we have a one bedroom suite next to it with an interconnecting door. So if you open that interconnecting door up, you have this wonderful space of um, a two bedroom suite, which works perfectly if you have larger families, multi-generational families, groups of friends traveling together, or perhaps a family traveling with a nanny or an au pair. You can see here, you've got your master bedroom with your huge bathroom area. You walk through into the open plan living kitchen dining area, and there's also a second um, WC in that space as well. And then you walk through and you've got your um, second bedroom with the two queen size beds in it and the additional shower. So that works really, really well for families and groups. Um, and it really is a wonderful space. The um, the only other thing that we had that you need to remember when you're talking about the one bedroom suite or the two bedroom suite is that these don't start in a garden view. So they would start in the pool view and then go up to the beachfront. So let's look around the beach resort a little bit more. So here again just shows you that incredible beach setting that your clients have when they stay here. So I wanted to show you the beach from another viewpoint as well, because in this um, image, you can see in the background something called Pigeon Island. Now, they give you a little bit of background on the history of St. Lucia if you hadn't been aware of it before. As a destination, St. Lucia was fought over between the French and the British set 14 times. So seven times French and seven times British before it remained in the hands of the British until it got its independence. Now, um, a lot of those battles happened up at Pigeon Island and there is a fort up there called Fort Rodney. So we have a wonderful service where we will take clients over to Pigeon Island and leave them with a picnic. The beach there is beautiful as well and they can climb up to the fort and look around and take in a little bit of the history of St Lucia at the same time. So that is a, a great view for your clients to enjoy while they're on the beach.
Okay, so now it's time to talk restaurants and on property at the Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa, the first restaurant I'm going to talk about is High Tide, which is known for its superb customer service, um, its tantalising dishes and breathtaking beachside views. So if you can imagine coming down in the morning for breakfast and being able to sit and look at that view, it's absolutely stunning. And again, you can see Pigeon Island in the background. In terms of food, it's a real blend of local traditional flair. Um, available as well is beach butler service and room service. Okay, so let's just talk bars for a second. Uh, we have two bars at the beach resort. Uh, Pebbles, which is the kind of poolside bar, but it's also in between the pool and the beach. Um, and then right on the beach, we have the sand bar. So um, both the bars are great places just to hang out. Um, and they're an ideal setting to maybe get a light bite as well. Uh, all the bars feature an exotic range of cocktails, liqueurs, uh, other alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. Now, um, I mentioned before about the meal plan. So um, across the group, um, it's very similar. At the beach resort, we start with a bed and breakfast. So all the rooms are B&B. &B. We then have an MAP and we have the all-inclusive. And again, if you're on the all-inclusive programme, just like if you're on the all-inclusive programme across any of the other properties, stay seven nights. For three of those nights, you have the option to do our dine around program, which um, just to reiterate, allows guests to have a complimentary shuttle to one of um, uh, maybe six different choices of um, local restaurants where they can try international um, and St. Lucian meals. But it's a great way to support the local economy as well. Okay, so just going back to our second restaurant at the beach resort. This is Sea Grapes Beach Bar and Restaurant. It's um, a prime beachfront location, so uh, you can look straight down onto the beach again. Uh, again, fantastic views of Pigeon Island. You're also going to look out over Splash Island Water Park. Um, this is really a, a fantastic rustic setting, but it's fresh local seafood and authentic St. Lucian dishes. So crab back, lobster, um, or anything that you can imagine. Um, but this is really for your, uh, your seafoodies. So I put this slide in just to give you an idea of some of the other chill out areas around the beach resort. Um, and also good to know and to reiterate that the free Wi-Fi runs throughout the property. So not just in the rooms, but it's also around the restaurants, the pool um, and in the chill out areas too. OK, so let's talk a little bit about the water sports that are on offer um, at Bay Gardens and what you can do in the water and on the beach. So we have mentioned before that we've got unlimited non-motorised water sports in the form of paddle boards and kayaks and hobby cats, etc. Now, they're based down at the beach resort and they're, um, as I mentioned, for any guests across the hotels or the villas, they can come down and use them. And that's unlimited. And then we have this wonderful addition called Splash Island Water Park, which was the Caribbean's first open water park. Um, and it is probably still the biggest and the best across the Caribbean. So it's available again to all of our guests. It's unlimited, so you can spend as long as you want and you can come down as often as you want uh, to play on it. You need to be six or over uh, and you need to be able to swim. You sign um, a waiver and you're given a life jacket and you swim out to the apparatus. Now there are always lifeguards on here, so it's very, very safe and there's people watching over you or the children. What we tend to find is that mum or dad will come out and um, the, the whole family will come out to enjoy some time on Splash Island Water Park and then mum and dad after about 20 minutes will swim back and find a sun lounger and sit and have a pina colada and watch the children who are also being watched over by the lifeguards. So the kids tend to spend all day on here and then they will sleep all night. So I'm sure you can understand that having this on property is such a bonus to any clients who have got active children or teenagers or just adults that want to have some fun. Now, if your kids want to do something that isn't water-based or beach-based, we do also have a kids club program, which is our Coral Kids Club. Offers a range of activities for kids from around four till 12. But if you have younger children and you're happy to come in and stay in the kids club with them, then that's absolutely fine. And they do all sorts of activities from bottle fishing and hikes at historic Pigeon Island 
to t-shirt tie-dyeing, arts and crafts, um, they can play games, there's all, lots of games that they have outside, so table tennis, that type of thing. Um, when the kids club closes for lunch, um, they will leave the games or access to the outside games and the buckets and spades, so you can just go and pick some things up and take them down to the beach. So it's all very easy going, very fluid as well. Um, the kids club is open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then it's open on um, then that's sorry Tuesday to Saturday and then it's also open Sundays from 10 till 12. Now in addition to the kids club there is also a kids playground in the garden area. So while the kids are being looked after time for the adults to have some pampering. Now we have a wonderful spa um, at Bay Gardens Beach Resort. You can have the treatments inside or outside on the beach. Another USP for you, if you're on all-inclusive, we include one daily spa treatment. That's one treatment per room category. You can either use it on a daily basis or you could save it up and have um, five or six treatments towards the end of your stay in one go if you wanted to. Um, one person could use them all or you can share them amongst the group. Now the spa at Bay Gardens has gone Ayurvedic and is offering a range of treatments now. So it really is a perfect place to unwind, relax and regenerate. So you have a beautiful picture perfect beach. It's the perfect location for a wedding abroad. And when you tie in everything else that Bay Gardens Resorts offers, amazing varied accommodations, great kids club, great beach activities, um, fantastic F&B, wonderful location where you can walk out to all the different bars and restaurants and experience the island's culture. It's really the perfect place for your Caribbean dream wedding. And we start with our wonderful free wedding package and we move up from there. So if you're interested in weddings, your client, you have clients that are interested in weddings, what I would love to do is introduce you personally to the wedding coordinator. So please do reach out to me uh, after the presentation and let me make that introduction for you. And I'm also more than happy to send you full details on all the wedding packages. So I'm going to finish with another short video just to showcase and give you an overview of Bay Gardens Beach Resort and Spa. to thank you guys for all of the bookings you do and um, not just in general but every time you do a booking we would like to give you a reward so if you do sign up to the Bay Gardens rewards program up on the screen now you can see all the rewards that we have now these are correct as of March 2020 they do fluctuate sometimes we'll do an additional bonus reward at the moment you can see we have a make a 50 room night bookings across the group and receive a seven night stay on B&B for two people. So that's a little something extra that we're doing at the moment. You can also see that these re rewards do go across all of the markets. So UK, Europe, uh, USA and Canada uh, are all available to sign up to our reward program. So please don't hesitate to do that every single time you make a booking to Bay Gardens Resorts. 
Okay, so that brings me to the end of my presentation on Bay Gardens Resorts. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for your time. If you would like me to send you any fact sheets, any images, any of the videos that you might like to use in um, any of your social media marketing to your clients, please just drop me a line. My details are up on the screen now. I would love to hear from you. If you've got any queries or questions, anything that I maybe didn't cover, missed out, or you'd like a little bit more in-depth detail, please just drop me a, a line. Thanks ever so much and good luck, happy selling.